Recently, there has been a lot of controversial revolving AIR, but the main point of that is to whether or not AIR is real or not. So let's find out. So first, what is R? If you search on Wikipedia, R is a diverse range of human activity and resulting product that involve creative or imaginative talent, expressive of technical proficiency, beauty, emotional power, or conceptual idea. So no, I is not R. Thank you for watching. But to be honest, the idea or concept of R is different to different people. And because of that, a lot of people still oppose the idea that AI arc is not arc and it's just we because in short arc is something that human create from their mind through various way and tool so if arc is created by an AI that doesn't mean it arc well that is kind of like the problem because a lot of people do consider AI to be a tool rather than the actual creator of that arc piece but rather than a tool that we use combined with our knowledge to make arc, AI arc do everything for us with or without the knowledge that we learn throughout our life. Like just take one person like never touch a pencil in drawing ever before. Compare that to someone who have been drawing with a pencil for two months and you can clearly see the difference. Like it's not really big but you can see the difference compare that to someone who just like started in making AI arc and compared to someone with just like one week it's almost unrecognizable because all you need to do is typing some text in it it doesn't require any knowledge or experience to build up it's already there and you just command it to do it so a person with zero knowledge of drawing could create a Office that would take a painter weeks of learning and years of experience. And if you are learning how to draw, you will know that most of the time the tool doesn't matter. What matters is how the artist uses it. Pick and choose which picture look better just doesn't seem like the artist have full control of that tool or it even considered to be a tool at all. You are just someone who supervise the end product you not contribute anything much to that art piece and because of that people just create the gray zone that ai is standing between a tool and an actual creator with a human supervisor like that's it but i guess some people just couldn't see that difference therefore we have to kind of go a little bit deeper into the process of making art it is quite easy to see if someone is making art or not. A kid just scribble on a piece of paper what on it can be called art, just not a good one. A person just decided to write a poem, playing the piano, or write a screenplay for a movie. All that can consider to be art, just not a good one that anyone would want to see. But by definition, it's still art. So if a person using an AI to create art in terms of speaking, that person is making art, right? Well, no, because the point is already there. You're not making anything. Telling someone to clean their room isn't exactly you cleaning their room. Like, it's just how it is. The actual creator must go through a lot of creative process. They must learn the basic of what makes a good piece of art. Of course, in the creative space, there is no real rule to say that if your art have this thing in it, it is a good piece of art, but it is the general, the basic, the fundamental that everyone needs to go through. And thousands of years of learning pinned down to a lot of knowledge passed through time that everyone decided that, yeah, this is the fundamental, you need to learn it to make good art and others must go through this learning journey and the frustration and the experience that they have to go through is what make creating art fun and work the time that we put into it and the result is that we get the recognition from other people now suddenly someone don't have to go through any of that hardship but still can create good art does raise a lot of anger 
artist, musician, movie writer, even like a sculptor must learn a certain basic skill that require because it's the fundamental to build up your art. Artists must learn how to draw a certain thing if they want to be good at drawing those things. Movie writer need to learn how to write a good script, which the writer of She-Hulk clearly did not learn to do that, and so on. But now, artists don't have to learn how to draw. They just need to learn the basic skill of Photoshop to fix the picture that an AI already made for them. Just like that, they got a good piece of art. No frustration, no experience needed. I can still make a good piece of art that can get a lot of like. Imagine spend a lot of time learn how to play a piano piece to show up to the internet, but then some guy just wiggle his finger around to a pre-recorded song and get more recognition than you are. Just how mad are you gonna be? Of course, this comparison isn't really accurate, but just imagine someone can make good artwork, but they don't have to go through all that process. It's like playing against M axis controller player when you are on a PC. However, a lot of people do hate on the AI art because of how unfair it is to human artists. A lot of people do consider the creative process, the learning curve, like the process overall, to go along with the art piece. That is why many people don't consider AI art to be art because there isn't much thinking put into it. Remember, art is all about communicate. Artists throughout time has always find different ways to communicate with their viewer and experience their way to make better art piece than their last one. AI art cannot do that because it can only fit on existing artwork, while in short term, AI provide everyone the ability to create art in quotation mark, but it can never give anyone the ability to call something their own because they did not really contribute anything to the art. But the biggest problem that artists are facing is being replaced by AI. AI art is made by feeding an AI bunch of existing artwork. Why this is completely normal, what is not normal is how it can replicate other artists' art style with extreme precise. Remember what plagiarism means? Companies don't really care if it's real art or not. If it sells, it is good enough. But I do think that artists will have a f- way to combat this problem. After all, the worst way to hurt someone is to target their wallet. Why a lot of people still defending the AI art and the answer is always depend on the collective mind of everyone including the viewer and the artist. It is safe to say that a lot of people still don't really consider AI art to be art at all because the concept of art throughout thousand years of history is already there in our head and it would take a lot of things to change it. Who knows, maybe an actual robot with self-control can make real art, but I don't think that will happen anytime soon. As for the value of art though, it's a different story. With the access to create good drawing with just a few tapping and clicking away, the value of a lot of artists will no doubt be decreased as a lot of people can just create similar quality if not better artwork. However, there is a counter to that. I was reading a wicked tale of Cinderella's stepmom. It's a good one, I recommend it. There is a small storyline where the people discover a famous painter is a woman and not a man. And because of that, the value of the painter work is decreased. This already happened to AIR. However, later on, the value of the woman artist is increased because they don't care if the painter is a woman or a man, they just care about good artwork after all. I don't know if that's gonna happen in the future, I guess it could happen if we had it for the future like Cyberpunk 2077, but I doubt it because just like the game, reality is often disappointed. (laughs) But still, 
Let me know what you think. Goodbye. Don't care. Don't care. Still don't care. I don't care.